Please be seated. President, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to Commemoration Day 2016. Imperial College London's graduation ceremonies commemorate the visit in 1945 of His Majesty, the late King George VI, and Her Majesty, the late Queen Elizabeth, to the college, where they honoured with their presence our celebration of the 100th anniversary of the foundation of the Royal College of Chemistry, a forerunner of the Imperial College. The governors of the council resolved that this event should be commemorated each year by an assembly of the governors, the president, the provost, the professors, the readers, the lecturers, and those in statue pupillari as an act of homage to our visitor, the reigning sovereign. <clears throat> this would serve as a mark of gratitude for all those who have helped the college and as a sign of personal rededication to the pursuit of knowledge in science and engineering and their application for the well-being of mankind. We meet today to recognise the outstanding achievements of undergraduate students of the college in all our endeavours, in sporting triumphs, artistic and musical excellence, diversity in both culture and ideas, volunteering, and not least in academia. Yet in doing so, may today's graduates also acknowledge that they not only have enormous potential to contribute towards the advancement of mankind, but they also shoulder the burden of expectation created by the achievements of those who came before them. Your time as students in the Faculty of Engineering never was solely for academia or achievement, but also to immerse yourselves in university life, developing as fulfilled, capable individuals, forging friendships that will last a lifetime, and tackling higher concepts of ethics, philosophy, and society. In doing so, you have made a unique contribu contribution to the history of the faculty, an institution which started with the Royal School of Mines in 1851, and now includes the engineering graduates we award here today. In future years, yours will be the shoulders that subsequent graduates stand upon. In the words of King George on the college's first commemoration day, regard your knowledge and your skill always in the light of a trust for the benefit of humanity, and thereby ensure, so far as in you lies, that science may never be put to uses which offend the higher conscience of mankind. So let us now remember all those who have served the college from its beginning in council and in deeds, and particularly our founder, His Royal Highness Albert the Prince Consul. Let us rededicate ourselves in humility to seeking the truth, to the pursuit of natural knowledge, and to the application of this knowledge to the service of our fellow people in all parts of the world. Gloriat Collegium Imperiali. God save the Queen. Members of court and council, colleagues, distinguished guests, honorees, and most especially our graduates and their family members, it is my honor as president of Imperial College London to welcome you to Commemoration Day 2016. We gather today to celebrate and to congratulate our graduates. We wish them well in their future endeavors. Graduates, we applaud your many accomplishments during your time at Imperial. You are exceptional individuals with a multitude of talents. You've demonstrated your ability as students, athletes, artists, musicians, entrepreneurs, community volunteers, and in countless other ways. You used your time here wisely, both inside and outside the lecture halls and labs. You leave this place 
with a broader perspective and deeper understanding of the world, and you are prepared to address the challenges that confront it. Your education, talents, and perspective are needed now more than ever, and there are many challenges. Food security, climate change, health care, chronic and infectious disease, weakness in the global financial system, clean water, and many other complex, seemingly intractable problems confront the world today. Finding solutions requires people who are technically adept. It requires people with an educational foundation in science, engineering, medicine, or business. People who can work across these disciplinary boundaries. People who are trained to think rigorously and to question the status quo. Finding solutions to complex problems requires people who know that extremely difficult does not mean impossible. Your imperial education has been a privilege. It is a privilege that comes with responsibility. You have the ability and the responsibility to improve the world and to serve others. I know that you will carry out this responsibility well through your individual and collaborative efforts. Imperial College London is a European university, and in fact, a global university. This has given you a rare opportunity to benefit from being part of Imperial's international community. You have learned from academics who may have been born in one country, educated in another, and who collaborate globally in their research. You have shared classes and made lasting friendships with students from all over the world. The major problems facing the world extend beyond national borders, and they demand global cooperation and collaboration. We need people who understand that the well-being of a nation is enhanced, not hindered, by working for the global good. We benefit from mobility and the opportunity to collaborate with people all over the world. Today, scientists, business leaders, engineers, medics, and entrepreneurs often have lived in multiple countries, and they collaborate freely with colleagues across the planet. The world comes together across disciplinary and political boundaries to address world health crises, such as SARS, Ebola, or MERS. Last February, 10 days after the World Health Organization declared a health emergency in response to Zika, 30 scientific journals, research institutes, and nonprofit groups based in Europe, Asia, Africa, South America, and the US signed a data sharing agreement. Around the world, academics, governments, and corporations are collaborating to understand and defeat this disease. They are working together to map the genome of the Aedes mosquito, to understand the pathways of infection, and to work on effective detection, prevention, and treatment. Researchers are collaborating to overcome this global threat, and it is irrelevant where they were born or what passport they hold. You are entering a world with intensive globalization along with serious backlash to it. In a recent 18 nation survey, 51% of respondents considered themselves more as global citizens than citizens of the country where they were born. In some countries, these numbers are increasing, while in others, especially in Europe, global citizenship is on the decline. I urge you to maintain your global perspective in your careers and your personal life. Continue to work, collaborate, think, and act internationally. All of us here today are proud of you, and we are excited by everything you will accomplish. Our 190,000 alumni are proud to welcome you to join a distinguished group pursuing rewarding and successful lives, doing myriad interesting things all around the world. As you leave Imperial, use your technical knowledge and your global perspective to help shape the future. Be active participants in solving the problems of today and the problems that will arise in years ahead. We look forward to hearing from you. We promise to keep in touch with you, and we hope that you will come back 
as alumni to inspire the next generations of students with your successes. Congratulations. President and Chair, I beg leave to present those who have received awards within the Faculty of Engineering. The names will be announced by Professor Neil Olford, Associate Provost for Academic Planning, Professor Chris Hankin, Director of the Institute for Security Science and Technology, and by Dr Lorraine Craig, Associate Dean for Learning and Teaching in the Faculty of Engineering. Due to the large number of graduates being presented today, may I ask the audience to reserve applause to prize winners and until the end of the group. Associates of the City and Guilds of London Institute and first degrees of the University, Masters of Engineering from the Department of Aeronautics. David Barry, Oscar Bian, Colin Chunkit Chan, Shui Chen, Yen Chi, Minglun Dai, Diraj Singh Dillon, Emma Louise Dixon, Liang Dong, Denham Dot, Joseph Dudley, awarded the Project Merit Prize, Daniel Jonathan Earle. <laughs> Andreas Paul Marcus Eckholm, Mark Emanuele, Gareth England, Omar Fami, Gui Fu, Therese Gale, Philip Matthias Gantner, Joseph Gibbs, Alexander Gillespie, Carlos Girardo Sanchez, Mehmed Ul Hassan, Jun Him Wilson Ho, Andrew Thomas Holt, Awarded the Airbus Prize and the Governor's Prize, Charles Houston. Alejandro Iglesias Perez. Awarded the Project Merit Prize, Sergio Iliev. Rokan Inglis. Uma Iqbal. Samuel Jackson. Fabian Jungmann, Philip Karisevich, awarded the best contribution to the Student Experience Prize, Edward Cardusis. <laughs> Daim Khan, Darani Kishore, Juan Larea, Ike Yong Lao, Mutan Li. Awarded the Head of Departments Award for Overall Contribution, Luke Looney. <laughs> Benjamin Jamie Lucas Lee. Henry Robert Main. Alexandra Metzger. Awarded the BAE Systems Prize, Timothy Minshall. Awarded the Project Merit Prize, Andreas Mobius. 
Himani Modi. Awarded the Airbus Prize, Chloellen Morse. Bertrand Na, Alexandra Unufrena, Maria Papadopoulou, Milan Patel, Morawakwe Melvin Pereira, Ting Hei Po, Rikesh Anil Punja. Marcus Charles William Rose. Bruno Scalzo Dies. Mark Sones. Marcus Russell Stead Hall. Awarded the Royal Aeronautical Society Prize, Tristan Alexander Stint. <laughs> Ram Ba Root Waj Suresh. Lawrence Sutton, Yu Heng Tan, Andong Tang, Joseph Thorpe, Jason Ka Chuen To, Tung Hung Justin Sui, Rainis Vitols, Caroline Vuriot, Alex Hugh Wilson, Tan Kong Yi, Genevieve Maria Zain, Bachelors of Engineering from the Department of Engineering, Bioengineering, Yasa Al Sadi, Bun Yisa Bun Thong Rong Tung Tawi, awarded the best Year Three BEng Poster Student Choice Prize. Akasha Ditya Das. <laughs> Rohit Devasar. Awarded the Bioengineering Student Centenary Prize and Governor's Prize, J. Dong Ray. <laughs> Dexter Gajar Reed. Pargo Gesari. Awarded the Best Year 3 BNG Poster Prize, Vanessa Ikabudu. <laughs> Daniel Ku. Ashwin Srinivasan Kumar. Jason Jishen Lee. Yun Ken Lo. Emmanuel Olabagaju, <laughs> Pijak Potterthorn, Weiji Gerald Bing, Kenza Rakaibi, Melissa Saw, Katie Salter, George Taylor, Aino Tompuri. Vekin Virach Jarasin. Masters of Engineering from the Department of Bioengineering awarded the Best Year 4 MNG Presentation Pride, Yasin Belgade. <laughs> Philip Maximilian Brunbauer. Emily Chan. Elijah Choi. Harun Shuk T. Eduardo Rebello. Sarah Dedic. Dimitrios Dedusis. Cyril Deroy. Manveer Danoa. Delphine Dimba. Tarindu Taraka Disanyaki, Tristan Edwards, Stephen Fan, Jed Farkerson, Yuman Fung, Giuseppe Gava, Ji Yen He, 
Yuk Hin Naomi Ho, Brian Se, Kira Keys, Andrew Ku, Suting Ko, Jade Ling Sung Hao, Ali Alia Logasawaran, Lorenzo Lombardi, Xiao Liu, Christian Meller, Hugo Muller, Nisha Naim, Tongwei Ng, Ayomidi Alatunji, Samuel Oxley, Chayoyun Hansuan, Ruthulun Pat Kunan, Elena Pisa, Chanyuka Rutabuth, Thomas Rourke, awarded the Bioengineering Student Centenary Prize and Governor's Prize, Tenghui So. Puise Sham, James Smith, Agavi Stravaropoulou Tatla, Alistair Walker, Bo Yang, Xiao Yao, Peter Zhao, Maham Abira Kukta, Joseph Henderson, Carol Ann Chia. Masters of Engineering from the Department of Chemical Engineering awarded the Governor's Prize, Maria Paulen Abundo. <laughs> Fogo Adalowo. Awarded the Henry Savitovsky Travel Fellowship, Jingesi Arai. Tada Amach Jais, Ronak Bagchi, William Batchelor, Georgina Bella Taberna, Kagisko Bikane, Ashira Bindels, Marcus Bishop, Benjamina Bolag. Lak Shi Bong, Peter George Pitcairn Booth, Sarah Busque, <laughs> Liam Bawil, Panuvit Bunritapol, Heather Campbell, Wing Tung Chan. Ka Yi Cheng, Dennis Chu, Justine Maria Y. Yi Chu, Dene Chu, Samuel Cockman, Ding Wei Di, Zoe Edwards, Michael Edwards. Nikazad Falahati, Kira Gago Xero, Timothy Yibao Gan, Shiladitya Ghosh, Mac Gill, Richard Glover, Fraser Gordon, Samantha Graham, Awarded the Shell Prize, Zheng Gu. <laughs> Lakshay Gupta. Aditya Gupta. Oliver James Herbage. Awarded the Shell Prize, 
Teng Yu Hu. Krista Heyer. Titifan Jaras Weir Ralai. Elliot Jeffrey Peter Jones. Winky Khan. Sirakun Kawatkul. Paniotis Klitu. Claxton Cock. Tanapa Konun Takiet. Rabia Lakani. Manraj Singh Lamba. Yangshun Jason Lee. Yek Man Lei. Jan Wei Leng. Yong Mao Leong. Zhong Hong Lim. Si Yan Lim. Wei J Lim. Shikyu Liu. Duncan Nathan Lomax. Ignacio Lopez Linares. Awarded the Roger Sargent Prize, Seeing Lu. <laughs> Kamathing Luang Watanapong. Awarded the Katrina Jacks Memorial Prize, Emily Lundell. <laughs> Nikita Makachek. Ran Andy May. James Metcalf. Gracia Monsalva Carias. Jack Lloyd Moss. Nafila Muklis. And Rodu Narendran. Edwin Noon. Arti Nimalan. Noor Redswan Noor Jazian. Chenudu Okeke. Kudirat Olateju. Cheta Ui. Onomi Oyibo. Nicholas Parkin. Yang Pei. Jinying Fang. Awarded the Henry Sowetowski Travel Fellowship, William Chi. <laughs> Eleanor Rose. Habib Salijo Ahmad. Aisha Soljani. Tyrone Sill. Robert Searle. Misha Sebastian. Alexander Seddon, Gabrielle Sessa, awarded, awarded the Ken Wheel Prize, Ravi Balasubramanian Shankar. <laughs> Peng Shao, Yejisola Yamidi Shonibare. Sydney Smith, Alice Smith, Matthew Stevens, Tan Su, Fanet Suvan Mani, Michael Tam, awarded the Chemical Engineering Student Centenary Prize, Walter Tyson, <laughs> Chan Wenqing, Yana Chan. Arvind Valori Suresh. Victorial Vigil Hernandez. James Newton Walwyn. Hadi Wibawa. Jack Williams. Awarded the Roger Sargent Prize, Alicia Wong. <laughs> Awarded the Lonza Prize, Shifeng Wong. Yunfan Shu, Jun Yamazaki, 
Wai Ming Yap, Natalie Yip, Yushen Zhang, Yongyang Zhu, Arjun Singh Saroya. Masters of Engineering from the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, Joseph Ahn. <laughs> Awarded the Langer Rock Prize, George Andrew Appleby. <laughs> Ali Reza Begi. Jan Hao Chan. Man Wing Chan. Yi Fu Chan. Kitty Chow, Konstantin Kosmin Kracinescu, Chloe Detanja, Timea Felkel, Tun Kai Fu, Mohamed Gafar, Kachun Alan Gok, Carlos Gomez Cheriringi, Chloe Goulding, Benjamin Wei Li Guo, Yi Heng Go, Mohammed Savrisal Haji Kazri, Heison Enoch Ho, Kin Pong Hon, Yuan Huo, Inchan Kim. Winnie Lai, Caroline Lende, Haley Hoi Yu Leung, Mingda Li, Chang Liu, Kam Wing Vincent Lo, Man Yi Lu, She Wing Ngai. Demetrius Nicolaidis, Chi Kin Nip, Liam Node, Oyafalabi Awuru, Adria Pan, Evangelos Pastras, Kishan Patel, Katya Piedalu. Abdul Muiz Shawa, Anas Giannis Simpi, Navraj Suri, Demosthenes Taliadoros, Victor Ting, Queenie Tse, Dawinda Upal, Fiona Walpert, Amanda Williamson, Ximing Shu, Xiaoyang Zheng, Charles Zukib, Guillaume Enrique Alba, Francisco Baptista, Kevin Shalhoub. Adnan Wahab Chowdhury, Ahmed El Alfi, Zixiang Ng, Noor Hazira Binti Hashim, Shut Lung, Martin Henri Reboul, Anna Selig. Sen Wang, Jack Wilkinson's. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, and I invite Professor Chris Hankin to the lectern. Bachelors of Engineering from the Department of Computing. 
David Abedisian. Ignacio Barra-Tabania. Awarded the Departmental Prize for Excellence, Carl Wayne Chan. <laughs> Jia Cheng. Michael Brian Cheung. Sasha Cohen Scali. Sean Kabe Dewhurst Nadiri. Yulia Gitlina. Omer Hassan. Marte Hekadis. Chun Ho Ho. Artim Kalakin. Tahir Birch Kiba Roflu. Stephen Kingaby. Andrew Lamzed Short. Hayuna Ali. Awarded the Governor's Prize and the Palantir Forward Group Project Prize, Nandor Licker. <laughs> Sun Yuan Lim. Danielle Luksansky. Claudia Andrea Mihai. Jinman Park. Nathan Patel. Nicholas Prettyjohn. Saria Rostogi. Charles Anthony Roelli. James Rogers. Alvaro Sevilla. Ben Shuttleworth. Awarded the Governor's Prize, Daniel Simic. <laughs> Awarded the Departmental Prize for Excellence, Sindoran Sivarajan. <laughs> Darmesh Taylor. Daniel Thomas. Mohamed Tamirzi. Utsav Tiwari, Roxana Ursu, Alfonso White, Chik Kwong, Wenqi Yang, Chufang Zhang, Miguel Zhao Marquez. Master of Engineering from the Department of Computing, Thomas Adlington. Menhaj Ahmed. Varon Antoniadis. Benjamin Anuwarakam. Joel Outerson. Naomi Bassett. Thomas Burnell. Cosman Carabe, James David Carr, Denise Carroll, Zuhair Chakba, Chakba, Yamnok Chan, awarded the Departmental Prize for Excellence, Jordan Chaparov. Awarded the Corporate Partnership Programme Award, Luke Cheeseman. <laughs> Xin Chen. Chi Yong Chung. Ben Chin. Chiara Andre. Elizabeth Cotton. Joshua Coutinho, Finlay Curran, awarded the Departmental Prize for Excellence, Dan Danela. <laughs> 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 
Alberto Eric Michiel de Capitani, Michael Douglas, awarded the New Voice Media Prize, Adrian Bogdan Dragici. Awarded the Corporate Partnership Programme Award, Stanislav Dragia. <laughs> Matthias Dida. Andrew Higginson. Stephen Lloyd James. Shu Ji. Lawrence Jones. Awarded the Arm Project Prize, Priya Joshi. Edwin Camuligea. Yona R. Kim. Awarded the Governor's Prize and the IBM Project Prize, Jeremy Kong. Mohit Kulkarni. William Kwan, James Lennox, Winston Lee, Yiming Lin, Ben Lindsay, awarded the Donald Davis Prize, Chuck Hin Brian Liu. Awarded the Donald Davis Prize, Yong Lee Lo. <laughs> Joseph Lomasny. Lucas Meerchak. Andrea Michi. Arjun Mohun Fan. Koa Ngayan. Corinna Nicola, Christian Kinsey, awarded the Governor's Prize, Macy Olenek. <laughs> Gun Pinyo, Bradley Pollard, Robert Prust. Sherry Poon, James Rodden, Cross Christian Rybacik, awarded the Corporate Partnership Programme Award, Kaho Sato. <clears throat> Alice Sibold, Chakris Thomas Sloan, William David Smith, Bei Sheng Song, awarded the Computing Student Centenary Prize, George Steed, <clears throat> awarded the Corporate Partnership Program Award, Nicholas Martin Steidel, <clears throat> Christoph Steininger. Yunlan Tang, Thomas James Taylor Hall, Jack Thorpe, Yun Tothel, Alan Max Vey, Tomas Virgil, Constantinis Bryanides, Chi Wei Wang, awarded the Microsoft Research Prize, Conrad Watt. <laughs> Siki Wai, Kuo Hern Wong, Shi King Yang, Yubo Zhang, 
awarded the Departmental Prize for Excellence, Robert Zhao. Casper Guayka. James Bulldock. Anna Maria Carcoletti. Matthew Cunliffe. Yulia Bulgakova. Bora Moller Mustafa Ochlu. Bachelors of Engineering from the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Xiao Han Chen. Olua Thomason Dada. Ula Di Pupu Disu. Victor Dorchev. Rajiv Dua. Ahmed El Basumi. Awarded the Governor's Prize, Jen Lung Gu. <laughs> Yong Han Li. Yang Liu. Uma Musagos. Akesh Mehta. Solu Park. Richard Charles Pollock. Jacques Seni Larson. Evstathius Alex Voynis. Si Yong Yang. Awarded the Governor's Prize, Benjamin Yong. <laughs> Yeren Zhao. Masters of Engineering from the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Daniel Nicholas Adams. Olorun Toby Adawi. Olorun Toba Adawiu. Vivek Agarwal. Awarded the Eric Laithwaite Prize, Roxanda Alexandru. <laughs> David Angeloff. Dylan Orti. Rilwan Bello. Alexander Benoit. Ravinda Budti. Awarded the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers Project Prize in Telecommunications, Ling Yin Lin Chan. <laughs> Charitas Charitu. Awarded the Ivor Tupper Prize, Rajan Chauhan. Fung Yi Lorraine Choi. Peter Dawson. Hao Ding. Awarded the Head of Departments Prize for Best Electronic and Information Engineering Project, Nicola Dorchev. <laughs> Stavros Elefethero. Luke Douglas Ellison. Peter Fabri, Omar Fakir, Andrea Fernandez Bertrago, Yatman Kimberly Fock, Alexander Gallo, awarded the Greaterix Prize, Vijay Shamji Gami. Sanjana George. Stelianus Hartutius. Thomas Hobson. Chang Hong Hao. Anyi Hu. Leonardo Yolongo. Julian Victor Ionascu Fomitescu. 
Tong Ji. Georgios Karafokas. Yanis Katsadiaris. Izat Iskander bin Kairuzman. Imad Khan. Rawid Hassan Katri. Norbert Kissiel. Damien Kissiel. Dimitrius Kosivas. Awarded the Governor's Prize, Pocky Kwan. <laughs> Niccolo Lamana. Awarded the Institution of Electrical Engineers Prize, Yuan Li. <laughs> Christian Lending. Kean Liu. Awarded the Governor's Prize, Derek Leon. Jian Yu Lim, Pascal Luce. Awarded the Henry Ford II Scholar Award and the Nicholas Battersby Prize, Mikhail Maslik. <laughs> Mohammed Asre bin Mohammed Yusuf. Luke Charles Morton. Luke Nicholas Mother. Wing Si Ng. Nicholas Nikolai. Govind Patwari. Akash Philip. Tim Christopher Ralph Pick. Rosemary Richardson. He Mang Rishi. Benedek Roska, Aditya Sakuja, Alexander Sanderford, Tanat Sampa Viravon, Lorenzo Scuti Gliani, Aaron Jianwei Shi. Zi Chao Shia, William Smith, Claudia Sola Sanz, Alistair Stores, Dai Wen Sun, Jia Shi Sun, Si Kiat Tan. Daniel Tarakanov, Inigo Torres Suribe Ekibaria, Peitu, Siddharth Anand Vasu, Edward White, Raymond Williams, Marek Volishin, Tongwu, Tong Yang, Guang Yang, Guan Hua Ying, Liang Yi Yu, Tian Xiao Zhao, awarded the Electrical and Electronic Engineering Student Centenary Prize, Jonathan Xiang Sheng Jing. Mark Zolotos, Mengran Li, Panagiotis Andrianakis, Osama Mahmoud Abdel Fattah Awara, Amrit Kumar, Nicholas Tarasivikius, Lirui Zhang, Yingsong Wang. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. I invite Dr. Lorraine Craig to the lectern.
Bachelors of Engineering from the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Ruika Udvet. Isabella Dennis, Amir Mohammed Fati, awarded the Arab Prize for Mechanical Engineering and the Governor's Prize, Lucas Fieber. <laughs> Henry Harrod, <laughs> Anish Kanabar, Richard Lee, Ahmad Mohammed Ali, Yi Ming Un. Jeremy Jun Kai Gum, Riyad Ritemi, Charles Matthew Robinson, Tamir Roth, Mikhail Sinopoulos, Tiarvando Tiarvando, Dexter O. Tukiono. Masters of Engineering from the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Ayodigi Abeya. Mayreen Suna Alban, Douglas Anderson, Daisy May Andrew, awarded the Governor's Prize, Seya Oto, <laughs> Riaz Bakesh, Dries Ryan Belhaj Salami, Nuckel Badreshe, Ashwin Hans Barno. Benny Beans, Tom Bloom, Oliver Bradley, Thomas Brewster, Prince Christopher Colrick, Ziyang Che, Sun Yu Chan, Che Young Chan, Henry Cheng, Mohammed Shaidri. Shan Kai Shaduri, Karthikian Chalapan, Xu Bing Chen, Hing Kong Chong, John Paul Chetri, Julie Shao, Ambrose Cook, Benjamin Edward Cook, Peter Dacus, Odamole Danmol. Darren Anak Diwo, Bethan Doyle, Edward Durkin, Ayobami Falana, Hao Miao Fang, Jonathan Finn, Ifan James Foster, Ben Freeman, Callum Frith, Shei Hao Gan, Tian Gu, Andrew Goodhead, Susan Goodman, Dominic Graham, Omar Hafiz, Shami Chu Hu, James Christopher Head, Ya Yun He, awarded the Arab Prize for Mechanical Engineering, Farron Hess. Shan Wan Ho, Lawrence Ho, Sean Hong, Omar Hussein, Jai Wei Hu, Dmitry Ivanov, Rachel Januszewski, Alexander Jenkins, David Katz. Jean Jin Daryl Koo, Anthony Kaywei Kur, George Kushaba, Wu Suk Kim, Joshua Kurland, Kieran Ledley, <laughs> Xavier Lavenier, Christopher James Lerter, Rachel Lennox Warburton. Daniel Lenton, David Leonard, 
Suhei Michael Jung, awarded the Mechanical Engineering Student Centenary Prize, Kai Yu Kenneth Lung. An An Lee, Uzreng Lim, Mikael Liveratios, Shrey Pradeep Loda, Manish Maharjan, Patibat Mahatharadol, Calvin K. Wing Mann, Nicola Mason, Timothy Mitchell, J. Mo. Patrick Moniz, Jananan Nathan, Max Naylor Marlow, CKM, Alexander O'Donnell, Robert O'Keefe, Jonathan Chi Chung Poon, Thomas Parr, Jonathan Pring, Vida Dratib, Sebastian Ray, David Reed, Felix Russell, Harry Sadler, awarded the Institution of Mechanical Engineering's prize, Catherine Sayer, <laughs> Priyav Shah, Amritsanshu Sharma, Jordan Singhi, Pariksha Singh, Teyu Susi Tukul, Oliver Spare, Matthew David Summers, Yeh Sun, Danapol Taisu Papong, Rachel Zhu Antan, O Chang Tang, Helen Victoria Tomlinson, Jeremiah, Jeremiah Ting Siang Kai, Sho Chi Chong, Wei Xiong Tong, Sarah Elizabeth Thwait, Daniel James Vaughan, Chan Shun Wang, Katie Wang, Hugh Alexander Grant Woolman, Sun Ho Christopher Yin, Shun Yang Drang, Sam Hurl, Alexander Lam Nujam, <laughs> Luan Van Pletsen, Carlos Walker Ravenier, Adam Wilcott, Cyprian Brochard, Cern Hui Yi, Shun Hunt Lee, Associates of the Royal School of Mines and first degree of the University, Bachelors of Science from the Department of Earth Science and Engineering, Rosie Blannan, Kusara Bogani, Paul Britton, Rhys Broom, Hannah Elizabeth Collis, Ting Ting Cooper, awarded the Governor's Prize, Elwyn Enos. India Fisher, Thomas Kettle, Hannah Oksana Kozak King, Susanna Lednerova, Jan Lativa, Prashant Neil Mahendran, Eleanor Morm, Kara Hue Menier, Thomas Mitchell, Joe Shua Yu. Mohammed Salihuddin Norman, Omar Nergli, Robert Oars, Alexandra Pavleskis, Yunshan Eugene Poon, Chow Tong Ren, Fiona Ribbons, Esme Elizabeth Stallard, Catherine Studdart. Tuan Wafiula Tuan Yosef, Benjamin Warnick, Robert Yates, Sun Hang Yu, Masters in Science from the Department of Earth Science and Engineering, Dominic Andrew, 
Samuel Argyle. Awarded the Governor's Prize, Helena Bates. <laughs> Rachel Blythe. Bess and Clark. James Cox. Bridie Verity Davis. Joanna Elkady. Lily Mae Fisher. Joel Gerard Hancock. Sarah Haworth. Michael Ingram. Matthew Irwin, James Alexander J.J. Jerry, Jonathan Jones, Yu Ting Kwok, Matthew Lisley, awarded the Clement Linney Foster Prize, Amber Madden Nado, Kimberly Mason, awarded the Elling Prize, Luke Neal. Peter Noden, awarded the Earth Science and Engineering Student Centenary Prize and the Ernest Edward Glorney Scholarship in Earth Science and Engineering, Christopher Ogden. Gwen Owen Jones, Kishan Patel, Ran Anthony Edward Penna, awarded the Earth Science and Engineering Student Centenary Prize, Jonathan Rio, Camila Rudavuche. Rachel Shuttleworth, Jonathan Shaywe Tan, Joshua Taroni, Christopher Thomas, Gwen uh, Owen Joseph Totten, Rebecca Tyne, Matthew Wetton. <laughs> Bachelors of Engineering from the Department of Materials, Arman Amirzan. Kieran Banerjee, Nak Hyung Shao, Marco Lorenzo D'Agostini, Bozian Feng, Laura Jane Ford, Daisy May Key, awarded the Armors and Braziers Company Award, Thomas McClintock, <laughs> Ramon Sanchez Hervia. Zui Shen, awarded the Armors and Braziers Company Award and the Governor's Prize, Jeremy Llewellyn Smith. <laughs> Din Shang Tong, Fin Ting, Dai Wan, Dan Yi Min Won, Sun Man Won, Alexander Reishan Sutterleaf Trump. Masters of Engineering from the Department of Materials, Yuande Adesida, Alexis Belosis, awarded the David West Prize and the Ernest Edward Glory Scholarship in Materials, Ahmed Belkarti, <laughs> Jules Jichongvi, awarded the Institute of Materials Prize, Robert Simon Escobar Steinbaugh. Andrew Halls, Joseph Hosier, Yia Shayong Su, Vias Ayer, awarded the Charles Salter Prize, Alistair Daniel Russell Jones, <laughs> awarded the Peter Pratt Memorial Prize, Andrik Yu Alcuser, <laughs> Niels Kemen, Wasan Laksan Akarn. Kang Lee. Benjamin Gary Parton White. Robin Newman. Benjamin Gary Parton White. No? Okay. Vlad Podersky. Awarded the Governor's Prize, Yoko Po Rusi. <laughs> Zachary Slingsby Smith. Oliver Stevenson. Ara Tachet Sharma Fant. Dimitri Bernard Varotsis. John Wheatley. 
Samuel Wheeler. Awarded the Material Student Centenary Prize, Anna Frances May Williams. <laughs> An Yi Yang. Raymond Shan. Jean Stein. Sean Leaf. Ladies and gentlemen, that completes the student awards and prizes from the Faculty of Engineering. Before we have the musical interlude, I'd like to apologize for the fact that due to a production error, the names of graduates from the Department of Materials were inadvertently omitted from the printed program. We will reprint the program with all names included, and we will send copies to our Department of Materials graduates. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
President, I'm delighted to present to you the winners of President's Medal for Outstanding Contribution to Teaching, President's Medal for Supporting the Student Experience, and again, President's Medal for Supporting the Student Experience. Professor Martin Blunt, President's Medal for Outstanding Contribution to Teaching. Professor Martin Blunt, sorry, applaud please. <laughs> Professor Martin Blunt is Chair in Petroleum Engineering in the Department of Earth Science and Engineering. And today we are here to celebrate his inspirational teaching. Professor Blunt's stimulating style ensures a full turnout of students for every class. He marks all of his own coursework and provides clear, timely feedback which helps prepare students for examination. Professor Blunt is a superb teacher who has led a transformation in teaching culture in the department. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Professor Martin Blunt the President's Medal in recognition of the outstanding contribution to teaching excellence he has made to Imperial College. If you would please come forward. Mrs. Louise Green, President's Medal for Supporting the Student Experience. <laughs> Undergraduate Office Manager for the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, Louise Green gives students her undivided attention, provides them with personal advice, and in return is deeply respected by all of them. Louise puts her knowledge and innate friendliness fully into serving students, and her wisdom, warmth, and kindness emanate throughout the department. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Mrs. Louise Green a President's Medal in recognition of her excellence in supporting the student experience at Imperial College. Please come forward. Susie Underwood, just wait a second, President's Medal for Supporting the Student Experience. As postgraduate administrator in the Department of Chemical Engineering, Susie Underwood works wholeheartedly to ensure postgraduates have a smooth ride through the college. Susie blurs the line between support and performance, not only helping coordinate the annual college carol service, but singing at every graduation ceremony, as she just has been doing, whilst helping organize graduates in the choir. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Miss Susie Underwood the President's Medal in recognition of her excellence in supporting the student experience at Imperial College. now concludes the award of the President's Medals. I now invite the Dean of the Faculty of Engineering, Professor Jeff McGee, to the lectern. <coughs> Dr. Sean Crofton, it's a great pleasure to welcome back Dr. Sean Crofton to the college. Apart from a year in industry, Sean has spent his entire career at Imperial since joining as a student in 1966. Before his well-earned well uh, retirement in 2015, Sean was no stranger to awards at the college. 
His engaging teaching, illustrated with examples from his extensive consultancy, earned him the President's Award for Excellence in Teaching, as well as an award in Teaching Excellence in Engineering Education. When not inspiring his students, Sean acted as senior tutor in mechanical engineering for over a decade. He ensured that the students gained the guidance and support they needed to excel at the college. Sean has been the guardian of Bo Energies, the 1902 vintage car that is a mascot for the City and uh, Guild's Students' Union. Engaging, entertaining and effusive in his desire to help the students, Sean is already missed by all of us here at the college. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by Council, to award Dr. Sean Crofton an Imperial College Medal in recognition of the consider considerable contribution he has made to the life and work of Imperial College. Lord Boyce began his career in the Royal Navy in 1961 and progressed from commanding, commanding HMN submarines Oberon, Opossum and Superb through to becoming First Sea Lord in 1968, followed by being appointed Chief of Defence Staff in 2001. He was made a life peer in 2003, becoming independent chairman of the Armed Forces Compensation Scheme Review between 2009 and 2010. This review brought him into close contact with issues surrounding the injury of and compensation for service personnel. The recommendations from the review played a significant part in bringing into being the Centre for Blast Injury Studies here at Imperial College. This is a unique cross-faculty interdisciplinary research and translation centre that brings together academia and the military in sustained deep collaboration for the benefit of veterans and service personnel. Lord Boyce leads the centre's advisory board and brings renowned determination and experience to ensure that the centre succeeds in improving the quality of life for those suffering the disabling injuries of conflict. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by Council, to award Lord Boyce an honorary degree of Doctor of Science in recognition of his outstanding contribution to the military covenant and the better understanding of injuries to and compensation for service personnel. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. When I was appointed as Chair of Council of Imperial College, I became the first Chair to have also been an alumnus of the College. So although it was some time ago, I know exactly how it feels to occupy the other place on this stage. I've crossed the platform as a graduating student, as those of you have today, with my proud family sitting in the audience, as many of yours are here today. Now, I'm not a huge fan of league tables, but whatever measure you go by, Imperial College is a very special place. The Times Higher Education Rankings put us as the third highest ranking university in Europe and the eighth in the world. In other measures, we vary, but in almost all of them, we feature in the top handful of places in the UK and elsewhere. You must remember that only about 6% of the world population hold a degree at all, let alone from a top university. So always remember how privileged you are. For you graduates, today is not the end of a journey, but the beginning of a new chapter. There will be many interesting opportunities to come, and I wish you every success in harnessing them. Now, it's my responsibility today to bring these proceedings to a close. But before doing so, I'd like to thank those responsible for the success of today's ceremony. 
So firstly, without trying to name the very many of them individually, please join me in thanking all of those who've worked so hard to plan and organise today's ceremony. Secondly, I'd like you to thank Richard Dickens, Colin Durant, and the wonderful musicians and singers who performed throughout the ceremony. Well done. Now, it's, it's of course, course your day, your achievement, but sitting behind me is an array of people who've helped and guided you, and they've been joined by very many other professors, lecturers, technicians and support staff, all of whom, one way or another, have helped you. So I'd ask you to thank all of your professors and teachers and other staff at Imperial who've helped you through your studies. And then, of course, there is you, our new graduates. It's your drive and enthusiasm that makes Imperial such an exciting and vibrant place. Without you, there would be no Imperial. So we all want to thank you, the graduates, and celebrate your achievement. Congratulations. And, and please remember that although this is nearly the end of the ceremony, this is not farewell. You're now part of a worldwide network of Imperial alumni. We are here for you and will be pleased to help you as you go on to have stellar careers. And I dare say it, at some point in the future, we may well ask you for help as well. The serious point is that we're very proud of what you've achieved and we will be proud of what you go on to achieve. So please do stay in touch as members of the Imperial family. Now, it also seems to me this afternoon that the applause so far has been very polite. Perhaps it's the formality of the occasion. And I knew, know that the students here can make far more noise than that. Indeed, this place has seen very many more decibels than it's seen so far today. So very finally, I'd invite the students to rise, the graduates, I should say, to rise, to thank your most important supporters, your mothers, your fathers, your brothers, your sisters, your children and friends who've been there to support you when you need them most. Please thank your family and friends.